lead repair. I obviously forgot to take a picture or a video of this when it first came in and exactly what I did to it, but I'll try to explain. Uh, this had come in because this piece was broken, just this one here. Now, I couldn't match the texture on this glass, but I could match the color. So basically what I'm doing is this is uh, a hammered okay this is a hammered and this is uh, Scottish Heather English Muffle from Wismack. Let's turn this up so you can see that. Okay that's pretty close but not the texture. So um, when I do a lead repair like this okay I take a rotary tool like a Dremel or uh, this is actually a master mechanic but it's a rotary tool generic name and what I do okay what I have to do or what I like to do to get it apart because I really I really only needed to get to this piece but you know when you do a repair and you only have to fix one piece like in this case I'm fixing all take, replacing all four of them because otherwise it looks like a Mickey Mouse job okay so I'm now I'm at the reconstruction phase but what I do is I use the rotary tool to make incisions at various places so I know I can get it apart okay uh, equally and now I'm at the process I have to do that on both sides and then finish up the cut you have to cut when you're using one of those you don't want to go all the way down and hit the glass because it'll score it and that can cause it to break so you go almost down to the glass and that takes practice you have to pay attention to what you're doing okay you can't just blithely cut with the thing and expect everything to work so cut almost down to the glass and then finish it off with a utility knife finish the cut off with a utility knife and you see in this case I put little marks so I wouldn't forget where I was making the incisions on this side that's where I did the other side because it's very easy to forget it's very easy for our egos to say oh I'll remember and then you turn it over and you're cutting it in a totally different place and you're wondering why it doesn't work okay so for this thing okay one of the one of the issues is that you know it probably could have been re-leaded but I don't have enough lead to do this I have another little job that I need the lead for so this is a repair and I'm in the process of putting it back together when you pull the glass out of old came uh, in this case especially I wind up having to clean out the old glazing compound now in this case it's pretty much falling out on its own but you wind up having to take something and and scrape it out anyway okay and then in a lot of cases you wind up with a, a whole vacuum cleaner to, to suck up all the stuff that you're you're cleaning off and of course scrape it off of the glass so I'm in the process of putting this back together and theoretically I've done everything right it'll just about go back like it came apart with a little bit of issues here and there see okay so now that I've got the bottom part put back together I can work on this part so I already cut the glass for this one okay and this is why I'm not a big fan of you know, I, I see people on these various sites that go, just smash the glass and, and clean it out. Well, I'm not a big fan of that. Okay, I am not a big fan of that. You know, I am just not a big fan of that. So, you know, it has a border to put back on. Uh, it's getting new lead around the outside because, you know, one of the things that a lot of folks just don't seem to understand is that a lot of times when you take, when you take one of these windows out of an old wooden sash, a lot of times the lead that's around the outside is in worse shape than the lead's been exposed to the atmosphere and wind load and all that over the years okay and that has to do with that has to do with the acid that's present in the wood that the wood frame is made out of this one ain't in too bad a shape but you know still it's going to be easier to work with new came around the outside than it is to have to deal with this okay because a lot of times, you know, the leaf will wind up flaking off or breaking off 
of the uh, exterior lead so it's easy to replace the whole thing and go from there now once I get this all put back together and soldered and it can survive I will go back with the blade and scrape out the old glazing compound okay and then give this thing a total reglaze but I'm not rebuilding this in its entirety okay. most of the lead is still viable okay you scrape this out with the blade you get an old button hook you know a razor blade cut it down okay and get to everything that needs to be replaced so that is progress so far I'll let you know when I get it put back together thank you guys